not competing. I like Bethel. I wanted to see him play tonight. Very interesting. We're getting some uh, Bethel additional actually, data. That's Bethel actually with an incredible Bethel. run at AZSL. For somebody who didn't Bethel. even qualify initially, they, they were brought in last minute with very little time to prepare. True. And Bethel actually made a hell of a run uh, taking taking losses to Felix and Schroeder, the number one and number two, respectively. Um, and on top of that, took Felix, not sorry, not Felix, took Schroeder to a game five. So, you know, despite the fact that Bethel might not be playing today, they kind of wanted a little bit of a break to smash a little bit. I can understand it. Uh, them being here tonight, I got to sing their praises a little bit. Yeah, no, absolutely no problem with that, but definitely um, two players that are very much worth talking about in this bracket are Felix and v Rice, who are going head to head right now for the first game of the Winners Finals. Here on PS2. Yep. These are your number one and number two seeds of the evening. Uh, and it's only fitting they meet up here in winners finals. Uh, but I am surprised to see Felix opting for the pit uh, as opposed to them playing the Fox all day. Um, you know, maybe Felix is just like, all right, look, I'm in the I'm in the uh, top three right now. I can I can play this character a little bit. Uh, and right. maybe they're also playing the, the pit because they want these disjoints um, off the bow and, and also the reflector uh, to deal with some of the more esoteric options that B-Rise is supposed to throw at them. It is very possible here. But right now at 160%, we're going to get B-Rise getting a very on Felix to get a fourth throw to put Felix off stage. Good response though from Felix getting this forward to get back into the stage. An excellent dash attack as well. Giving a surprising amount of knockback here to put B-Rise in a bit of a tough situation. Even powering straight through that nair that was so good uh, at uh, stuffing out neutral options from Seabass uh, previously. Since they're gonna be met with a strong shoot ball. And oh no, a mishap off stage. Super unfortunate, Larry. You need to see this. Dude, it, <laughs> it happens. But uh, we see B-Rice fighting back out of the corner a little bit. But whenever Felix has a lead, it is very hard to take it from them. They, they, they firmly sink their claws into it and don't want to let go for even a moment. See, yeah, man, like, that, that's, that's what's kind of crazy is that, um, that SD is definitely not going to be something that Felix will let slide to. Felix, you know, he kind of getting a little bit experimental with the characters, but, uh, I'm sure Felix knows that this is B Rice's only, one and only, tried to true take, and a damn good one, too. So he's not going to be wasting any time for our attacking by piling on the additional damage. Two up airs in a row. Not gonna get the third up here, not gonna get the Nair or the down smash, but second time's a charm is the spot dodge is the second down smash. We let Nair off stage to edge guard and close out the first game with a two stock lead. What a proficient first easy. game here for Felix. Not using any time taking advantage of everything that was given to him there. Bruh, Pitt's a masher. Hold up. Pit? Uh, I mean, a, a masher who could throw out disjoints like that off stage is, is no. No, nothing to be trifled with, I'll say. Oh, definitely um, nothing to sweep But up. yeah, I mean, those fast smash attacks are so good in the corner, my word. That's what I'm trying to communicate right now, bro. Definitely, definitely shaping up to be quite the like good small. pick here. And our next game is going to be going on to Small Battle for our second game in the set. And uh, I was kind of funny when like... There's a little bop playing right now. Yeah, I was kind of funny. Actually, I was actually going to point that out too. I was kind of funny when... uh. Songs from like other legal stages end up on the stage. You know what I mean? Because like yeah, it uh, it's kind of jarring these days, but I like the addition of it. Yeah. I was just find it funny because I, I always know there'd be like some people who like will choose small battlefield, but then choose like you know like the Pokemon battle theme from PS2. And it's just like okay, <laughs> you know. Not even just songs, but you know what? I respect it. You know what else I respect? An excellent up smash coming up from D Rice to take the first stop of this match. Yeah, a uh, complete twist of fortune from what we saw last set, or last match rather, where Felix completely had B-Rice's number. Now B-Rice in the lead right now, um, able to just keep throwing out this damage. And it's about when they have the lead are very scary because they can just kind of throw out their options and you have to be the one to approach them. They don't have to approach you if they don't want to. This is true. This is very true. And there we go. We got a good finisher coming out from Felix to tie up his stock count. Only 48% at his deficit, which is uh, seemingly pretty doable for how good Felix's pay has been doing tonight. There we go. Excellent. All right. Coming out from B-Rice. 
but the neutral is still going to be somewhat shaping up in Felix's favor as they regain a little bit of stage control. Excellent air placement though from B-Rice uh, to fight back a little bit here. There we go. One, two, yep. three, oh, four, but there's five, six, these jabs in the corner. And I, I thought they like touched that. I want to say that was like 12 hits, right? That sounds about right. It doesn't matter. It's a lot. I, I always like, I, I want to try cat now, because I know B-Rex is up on stream a lot, and they get that pretty often too, I want to keep, like, it just happens so suddenly though, and I want to be able to like, count it some of these, one of these days. Oh, there we go, one, two, three, four. oh, we got three hits, we got three hits, okay. From now on, if I ever cut you off, it's because I'm counting that number right there, I, I want to start counting that number, I don't know why. I'm Why? Just, I'm just making it's, it. It's just damage, brother. It's not <laughs> that deep. I don't know, but I, I just think it's funny. It's like a little like squeaky hammer. I just, I don't know. B Rice definitely works for those for those streams, so I want to reward him. I want to give him a tower. Sounds good, but oh. there's a Nair. Not gonna kill just yet, though. Get the eye from B Rice survive. And I gotta say, B Rice is um. The eye constantly uh, it, it impresses me because you know there's some stuff that Isabel should definitely die from. That B Rice simply will not allow Isabel. To nope, just too good of, a, of an Isabel player to go down to stuff like that. But uh, well spaced. Um, what's that move again? Oh, I'm blanking on it. Besides the upper dash arm. Upper dash arm. There it is. Is going to be taken out the second stock and trying to get the stock count 107 percent deficit for the to make up for. It's definitely not going to come easy. Oops. Yeah, oh, and a good avoidance of... Oh, oh. well, bad angle on the uppy, I will say, but... Avoid the side okay. B, but also... It's all right, actually. Yeah, avoid the side B, but avoid so, the whole stage. So now we're going into a flex game situation uh, where the winner of this next match is going to have counterpick advantage for the rest of the set, no matter how long it goes. That's true. That's true, so we're going to see how that affects things here in just a minute. Oh, wait, what was that? I'm getting word from uh, Backstage. Oh, okay, word. Alright, we're moving into our third game here. B Rice has previously bought back the uh, second game, so now we got one and one on the fourth of two of these here. What do you think about the Smash Bill pick? What do you think might have been going through uh, Felix and Brian? Uh, hey, that's a, that's the zoner. Let me get closer to them. Yikes! But. Sometimes it doesn't always work out in your favor, Felix. Yeah, check that out. That was one heck of a solid forward air stream to take out the first dog very, very quickly. Only sustaining 12% damage. Right, and uh, you know, the thing about B Rice is that whenever B Rice sees a little bit of an advantage, they can take that a very long way. But Felix, in that same right, keeping B Rice off stage, uh, good for about 40% though. That's right, really good uh, job taking advantage of that situation. And now here we are. Um, now here we are, one stock ahead still for Felix, but at 52%, as long as they can close out this stock quickly, it could still be doable. But look at that percent starting to rack up all the way up to 95. And now it's starting to look like more and more of a tall order for uh, Felix here. Right, hey man, any early stocks is, is going to be a tall order to come back from, especially against a zoner like Isabel and a player like B-Rice, who's so good at just making making you jump into uh, precarious situations and uh, B-Rice being able to adapt on it. And there it is, a back air to take that stock. Felix looking lost right here against uh, B-Rice on this Smashville pick. B-Rice in prime condition to possibly come out on top of this flex game. Yeah, that, that could be very much what we're seeing here, but right now we're getting B-Rice getting a solid forward air, followed up by a nair. Oh, but a good trade is going to be a worthy one here, as a down air is going to be trading with an up air, but Felix will be retaining this stock by the 80 percentage timing that may or may not be around for much longer. Oh, especially uh -oh. now with, oh my goodness, three offstage forward airs right under the stage. What an aggro option coming out here from B-Rice. <laughs> Definitely feeding to close out this spot when this retain a 2-1 lead. There we go, we got a couple He's of dead. dabs in a row and a 4 tilt. He's it out. dead! He has He's dead. He's dead. Oh yeah, he, he died. Fatality. That is gonna do it for that game. Look at that fatality. Finish here. Tight B. Look at that. That was solid. Yeah. Don't go back to it. What are you talking about? 
Oh, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 tonight. That was good. <laughs> yeah, they said they were going to give me that clip. Okay, I'm glad I could confirm it was 12. Good. I don't know why. I and really want to know. Oh, and now we, we see all. Felix coming out with a Roy. Interesting pick. Let's see how it works. Okay. Why not go to Town and City? It might have been banned, actually, so I respect it. Yeah, but I mean, hey, this is a this is a fast grounded character, uh, so you know, similar speed to Fox, I would say, uh, just with a disjoint this time and a lot of really easy kill confirms. Right, so th this could be uh, a very positive pick here for Felix. I definitely know that I've seen Schroeder win this matchup in particular. I know that for a fact. So depending on how right. good Felix is at applying that same sort of approach, or maybe even a different one that works better for Felix, uh, could be very important for potentially bringing back the sets with Game 5. Right, uh, um, but again, d is really good at recognizing uh, his opponent's game plan and being able to shut them down before they're able to get it, but... Felix jumping off stage with from the ledge uh, with a tricky back there. Take that stock very early. Yeah, really good job doing so as well. And here we are, one yeah, stock ahead. Yeah, B -Rise. One stock and ahead. And considering yeah. Felix just took that stock, and uh, B is already having 71% on them, I guess a character like Roy, who is absolutely amazing at killing, uh, this is this is quite scary for B -Rise. Yeah, and I was going to say, one stock ahead, we had Felix, but uh, now it's going to be right back to a tight stock end for the both of these two players. Good job from b right using the high frames if you thought that uh, with that neutral B, that was a very good utility of the toolkit, uh, as you would expect from someone with b right but here we go. The air dodge will unfortunately be punished by a forward tilt, and now we're going to be getting b right's uh, edge guard on the other side of the stage now, even still getting caught with the jump forward air attempt. Uh, that backer is going to be ready to meet B-Rice once again. There we go. Jab. Oh, okay, we call that jump, jump air. air. The jump air coming out from Felix to bring B-Rice to a last stock situation and still a fresh slate on the second stock. Man. Uh, we see B-Rice turning on the Jets right now. They recognize that they are one, uh, one win away from going into Grand Finals on the winner side of bracket. So they're trying to turn on the Jets and get this damage added up uh, before they lose this stock and the game and have to go to a game five. Yeah, that's what we're seeing here right now. But on the other end of things, we do have Felix who, like you said, I mean, it's like, it, it's something that, like I, I've seen Felix on this Roy thing, right? But, oh gosh, okay, there you go, good down smash, and now we have our tight stock count. I was gonna say, we see Felix on this pick, but uh, going up against someone who, like, you know, like B Rice, who solo mates Isabel and solo mates Isabel very well, it's gonna be a true test of uh, Felix's boy abilities here. 100%. But hey, it isn't over yet for either of these players. It's gonna take, uh, I think, well, one B Rice combo uh, from going to the next set. But we're also one good hit from Felix uh, away from winning. And there was that back air sending B Rice way too low for them to recover, especially considering how much helium they already used. That's right. So great job from Felix taking advantage of that situation. And uh, you know, it's, it's not very often uh, that we see B Rice ever just like run out of feel like that on the or helium on the balloons. That's very rare it for was, someone to be able to edge guard uh, B Rice that much. Like, it was it was a great burn from from Felix there uh, with with great ledge trapping or edge guarding. Oh yeah, really good, really good. Just definitely a rare sight though, because uh, B Rice is actually really good at recovering with that. Ugly burn. Then again, yeah, I guess if B Rice is gonna be that good at recovering, he's gotta be uh, that much better uh, to be able to edge guard that position. So great job from Felix here, but also good job from B Rice man, piling up the percentage really early. And even finding uh he's in a bit of a dire straight straight from the get go on this last game here, game five of winners final. And also, good job for RNG for us to land on escape from the city, uh, so that this match is a little bit more exciting. Very good team. I, I I'm a big, big fan of this one. I like it too, and I don't even like Sonic all that much. Dang, you know what? I, I guess Sonic music really is just that good. I was talking about this on my stream the other day, but yeah, Sonic music is good even when the game's on. So, right now, both these players just trying to look for that first stock. 
Uh, and there it is. Yeah, a parry on that last hit of the laser with the Epsil coming out to take that stock. But a side B answering right back. Not going to take the stock just yet, but if we know anything about Felix, they could really seal the deal here, especially with this Roy pick. Yeah, they could be very much on their way to doing so. There we go. We got the up air, but it's going to be a soft hit. Not going to close with the stock just yet. There's jab. There's up air. We call that jump air. It was a little bit of a loose one, but it was a good one nonetheless. The side B's not going to be connecting. Instead, it's going to get punished by a solid string, even a footstool to re-grab. Hit a couple of jabs in up to him, a couple of up airs. But still, we're going to be getting this stock closed out by Felix. And now we have our tied stock count once again. 53% deficit is very doable for a character with damage output like Roy. But we're going to have to see if Felix is going to try this breaking all as well enough to do so in due time. I haven't talked about, I, I don't know, I've been remiss to do so, uh, how good of an option the uh, gyroid is on this stage specifically. Because again, you know, there's no platforms for you to like mix up your approaches over. Um, that that gyroid shuts down a good portion of the stage. And v can just kind of hide behind it, wait for you to try to jump over it, and then give you a punch as well. So it's a great option on this stage specifically. Just like uh, that jab back air is, on any stage, just in the corner. That's right, yeah, that's definitely something that's uh, important to bring up here. Oh, there we go, goes for a really frisky forward smash. But it says he's gonna get punished by his side B, uh, by Felix, to go into the potential winner's stock of this run here for Beat Rice. Made it all the way to the uh, winner's finals, but here we are, both players at 0% per player on the last stock here. Winner's stock for both of these teams. Dude, I am, this is very tense right now because again, Felix is bringing this back out of nowhere. I think the consistency and damage and combos from B-Rice is a little bit too much. Yeah, it might be a little bit too hot to handle right now, but there we go. 123% for Felix to make up for it, and even then, oh! Hey, well, you know what? I was going to point out something else, but nope, it looks like Felix is going to be stuffed out. Any chance that Felix has a clue that last dog, but hey, a solid boy.